Hello, hello, Pastor Sean here. Thanks for tuning in. I have the honor of bringing you the word for the day. Today's passage is a reminder that God can restore those who have turned away from him. Maybe you know someone who was a Christian once in their life, but now they reject every part of it. Maybe you were or are that person who grew up Christian and then fell away for one reason or another. That was me. I grew up going to church. I got baptized when I was seven. And when I, go into, when I got into junior high for one reason or another, I rejected Christianity. But really, I look back, I rejected Christ. I made it so Jesus was not the king of my life. I was. Today's Psalm, Psalm 80, tells us that for those who live rebellious to God, he actually gives them exactly what they want. And when someone rejects God, they are rejecting a life of hope and abundance. And what most of us have found out is a life without the eternal hope to cling on to, without a savior, without his spirit, is an empty and hopeless way to live. For four or five years, I lived in rebellion to God by putting myself, my desires, and my sins first. And for four or five years, I lived a life of downward descent. I got high, I got drunk, I partied, I lost all of my friends, I even lost my mind. I was depressed and suicidal as a high schooler. But God wasn't done with me yet. There's a phrase that's repeated three times in Psalm 80, verse 3, verse 7, and verse 19. And it says this, Restore us, O God, let your face shine, that we may be saved. The cool thing is, in God's timing, He turns His face towards us so we can experience His love and provision. So our faith and our walk with Christ can be restored. Psalm 80 is a reminder that all God needs to do is to make his face shine upon us in order to be restored. There isn't anything we can do on our own, and there's nothing we can do for anyone else's faith for that matter either. This is a work of God and God alone. And Jesus being God has done this for us in such a beautiful way. He, he finishes that work of restoration on the cross. And for those who have turned away or for those who have rejected Christ, he is, he's answering that call of restoration. And he's still completing that phrase that's repeated in Psalm 80. Uh, and it, it still says this, restore us, God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Just a reminder that Jesus revealed himself to the entire world in order for them to be saved and believe. But it's all in his timing. You see, he is revealing himself to each person, even those who have rejected him, in order to restore them and their faith. That doesn't mean there won't be some that continually reject God and in the end receive what they desire in eternity without God. But it's upsetting or sad because we know some of those people, family, friends, coworkers even. And the truth is, is we have, we have to trust in his timing because if anyone will reach them, it's Jesus. And I believe that's what's happened to me. I got in a lot of trouble rejecting Jesus and living for myself. And one of my punishments was I had to go back to church, a really lame punishment, but I agreed to the terms. And when I came back to church that Sunday, I felt like God had revealed how much he loves me and cares for me through his people. You see, he shined his face of love and perfection through the imperfect people of that church. He, re he restored me to truth, faith, and love. Look, all, all this to say, if you know someone who has fallen away from God, if you know someone who rejects God, have faith that God is working on that person. And at the right time, the right place, God will reveal himself to them and restore them to him. I know it's worrisome to watch those you love reject God and eternal life with God, but don't take the weight of their salvation onto your shoulders. Instead, trust. Trust in his timing and his love for that person. Jesus is doing more to reveal himself to that person than we could ever know or imagine. So our job is to stay faithful to our purpose of loving God and loving those around us. Our job is to trust Jesus' command to, to go into all the world and teach them about Jesus and baptize, baptize them in his name. Our job in this moment is to pray that phrase that's repeated in Psalm 80, to restore us, Lord God Almighty, make your face shine on us that we may be saved because it's good to be reminded that it's God's job to restore and save, not ours. We just need to be faithful to that. Love you a lot, Calvary. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow.